We are in a crisis, the like of which we have never seen in our lifetimes. Nothing like this has ever happened. Governments around the world have shut down entire countries. For what? Gerald Salente asks. They just started a new war. The war against the people. The crash of 2020 is worse than the Great Depression, Salente warns. The white show boys are destroying the global economy. We are going to see a real estate collapse the likes of which we've never seen before. From top to bottom. This is a financial suicide. How are people going to pay their rents, how are they going to pay their bills, how are shopkeepers going to be able to pay their rents? This financial suicide will make more casualties than the virus ever will. Salente noted that there is something wrong with the reaction to this compared to flu, SARS, swine disease, etc. The social impact of the shutdowns will be worse than the actual medical issue. Mr. Salente's insight is valuable. Banks and governments created fiat debt. Fiat debt inflated the values of all investment assets, stocks, bonds, real estate, gold, etc. It was manageable up to a point, but after 2008, fiat debt proliferated. This is the start of the great implosion of fiat debt. This trickle-up bailout of the top is a scam for people on the top. Why is the government starting a depression? Ask yourselves. The market drop was going to happen eventually, no matter what. The entire system was artificially juiced and rigged. All that is happening now is they have an excuse, so they don't have to take responsibility. What's going to make this a depression is politicians. Newsom and Cuomo outdoing each other with authoritarian economy crushing orders, certain to be followed by Democrat mayors and governors nationwide. NYS Governor Cuomo by declaring martial law, he is dipping his toe in the water to see how far he can push us and get away with it. He is a fearmonger globalist. He shut down New York City. Building now closed, no freight, packages, not even courier allowed. Every time we have a winter storm, he jumps in front of a camera and says things like this tornado snowstorm bomb so we can give money to weather, climate change. Now he's out pushing the measles shot, then it's the China plague. It's all about what the alternative media has been saying for years. They want total control of their debt slaves. Control our movement, money, food, what we do for a living, everything. This virus shutdown is a cover-up for failed central bank policies. Destroy the economy and buy it all back at bargain prices. The largest transfer of wealth in history. Gerald Salente is correct. It's not Corona. It's all about control. They will never let a good crisis go to waste. This is a government test. They threw this out to see how the public would react. Yeah, this is worse than in 1929. The damage being done is going to be way worse than the virus, jobless, bankrupt, etc. This is not a mere reset. The asset bubbles were getting too big, which could cause the greatest depression the world has ever seen. This is possibly a controlled demolition to avoid an apocalypse. The Trump administration kept pumping the economy up with fake money, that was unsustainable. We all know what caused the Great Depression back in the 1930s. It was the banks pumping up the stock market with cheap money. Today it is on a massive scale. The peak of 2020 was far more overvalued than the peak of 1929. We haven't even brought the market back down to a normal historical price to sales. By any measurement, the stock market at 20k points is still massively overvalued. A return to the historical mean would take the Dow all the way to 10,700 as a fair value in a bull market. Mean reversion requires a drop well below the mean. Dow to 5,000 or less, if the Fed is out of bullets. Then, a recovery to mean. The 2008 reversion to mean was truncated by Fed intervention. We are still paying the price for low-performing and bad actor companies that should have been wiped out back then. I get the feeling the market is going to be shut down for a month soon. Advanced economies central banks are running out of policy levers, with low and zero interest rates. QE is done. Shutting down businesses and telling people not to work is what will cause horrific drawdowns like this. In 1929, a lot of people still had skills and knew how to be thrifty. Today, that's not the case. And supply chains are crazy long in comparison. The economy was a sham before the virus, it was going to implode anyway, they are using this virus, so they don't have to do the blame. And oh, by the way, they have a great plan to save us. Digital currency, less freedom, and more centralized control. 
I didn't see this kind of panic over the millions of babies being murdered. It is all about government control. Governments are going to use COVID-19 as an excuse to finally usher in a cashless society, which will give governments way more control over the types of purchases that people make. Why would a government do this, you ask? Well, because they know the virus will not thin the herd as well as a massive depression, so they use the virus to cause a stampede that thins the herd as they trample each other running for the exit. Only 218 people have died from the corona in the United States, and it's called a pandemic. When the number of people who have died from seasonal influenza so far has now reached 20,000, including 136 influenza-associated deaths in children, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, reported as of February 29. There's your real pandemic. This is what happens when the media is controlled by a small handful of powerful people. They inflate and deflate the narratives to serve their agenda. The deep state is trying to wreck the economy. Period. Some people get it, but most people don't. You never let a serious crisis go to waste. And what I mean by that it's an opportunity to do things you think you could not do before. Once said, Rahm Emanuel. It is all by purpose to destroy the entire economy. Everything will go down, and after a reset, if we survive, this 1% can pick up everything and monopolize their power. This is about destroying the global economy. See the banksters own all the assets. They don't need money. There was a white paper from the 60s that talked about collapsing the greenbacks. The new order that is being brought in is a technocratic one. No small business, no medium business. Only global corporations, like Walmart, Amazon, etc. And AI to be in charge of the population. Hunger Games Society. Prince Charles at the World Economic Forum, talked about a new type of economic system to fight climate change, by 2030. Cryptocurrency will be ushered in. Cashless society. The mark of the beast is coming. Don't take it. Gerald Salente is a voice of reason in this fake mess. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you. Congratulations, America. This market wanted to sell off so badly, and you're paying to keep it floating. And you're paying a lot. The money spent on keeping this propped, while trillions are funneled to insiders so they can buy assets for pennies on the dollar, dwarfs what you will see in any stimulus. Interestingly, no politicians are objecting to the Wall Street $10 trillion bailout. But stamping their feet over every other element. They planned on a massive up today, but it's not working out that way. If there were any justice in this world, we'd be well south of 18,000 right now. The ultimate grind to 10,000 is a matter of inevitability, just wait till earnings reports hit. And as we continue to shovel trillions at this turgid mass of puss-filled fraud, we are at once tossing away our chance at vitality on the way back up. If there's going to be a way back up at all. This is the dollar's last hurrah. Anyone that has been paying even marginal attention for only the last five years should understand that. The virus will be the patsy for the collapse of the dollar. Americans will welcome the IMF's SDR when this takes its course. In a kindergarten, you could not get away with the fairy tale that some Chinese peasant ate a bat and crashed the global economy. Yet the masses buy the official narrative. Does that not make them dumber than five-year-olds? This is an engineered crash because they could not maintain the everything bubble anymore and they launched a flu to use as cover. Is this not plain as day? The globalists did it. They hate Iran, and they hate China for buddying up with Iran. Italy wants to leave the EU, and that is why they are being corralled. So, those are my thoughts. Western civilization is starting to look like global pockets of self-contained internment camps. In California, as life under big government shudders the livelihood of millions, they pretend to be virtuous heroes while still collecting salary on the taxpayer's dime. We should demand all levels of government, especially mayors, governors, Congress, and Senate, to forfeit their salary and share in the pain and suffering of the American people who pay these overcompensated rats. If we truly had a fearless and independent reporter pool, we would blow the wheels off this federal government psyop clown car, Trump would crack, as it's loot 60 trillion from the American treasury, without one word by the American slaves who rather ask for martial law and the constitution be destroyed. 
Everyone is too scared out of their mind to worry about the looting of the treasury, and it's all by design. Yes, time to destroy the credit-based, total mindless consumerism-driven, idiotic global economy. Time to return to the roots, local living, growing, and consumption. Establish state banks, so they can locally handle business and housing loans and pension funds and eliminate Wall Street and the Fed. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a small donation. Thank you.